Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? Joey Sherkabuck is back here with another video for you guys. Today, guys, it's Saturday night, the day before the Super Bowl, and I'm going to be giving you my game pick and analysis for that game, but there's two major things that we need to address before we get into that. First of all, last weekend, very depressing scene appeared. The death of uh, NBA star Kobe Bryant in a helicopter crash in, uh, I think, Calabasas. Uh, yeah, really, really not good. Um, apparently, like, the weather was really bad for flying helicopters or something and how they shouldn't have gotten in the, v the helicopter. I don't really know much of the story, but all I know is that he died. I found it out on Twitter, like, as soon as it happened. And, yeah, really, really too bad. So, all prayers go to, to Kobe Brown's family. Of course, his daughter was involved in it as well, I believe. So, really, really sucks for them. So, hopefully, uh, all thoughts and prayers go towards them. And, hopefully, everyone is doing okay afterwards, aside from the passing of Kobe Bryant. Now, if we go to more present day, NFL Honors was tonight... Lamar Jackson, I don't want to talk too much about the Ravens because they're not in the Super Bowl, but Lamar Jackson winning the MVP as predicted. Some people are really ticked off about it, but most people um, agree with it. Um, Michael Thomas, Offensive Player of the Year, I think that's a pretty fair statement. Um, I think, yeah, Defensive Player of the Year was Stephon Gilmore, I think I agree with that. There were no, there were no like legitimate surprises. Jackson MVP... Thomas, Offensive Player of the Year. Nothing um that that new. Um, Defensive Player of the Year, yeah, Stephon Gilmore. I think the def the rookie Defensive Player of the Year was that Nick Boza. I think so. And then oh yeah, one surprise I remember. Offensive Rookie um Offensive Rookie of the Year was Kyler Murray. Not sure I agree with that. I don't know why Kyler Murray got the Offensive uh, Rookie of the Year um, award. He wasn't. He's not that good. I don't know why he got. I don't know why he got the uh, MVP. I mean, not not MVP, but Offensive Rookie of the Year. I don't see that. That was surprising to me. But other than that, pretty pretty straightforward and nothing that surprising. I think it was Nick Boza who won Defensive Rookie of the Year, if I recall correctly. Correctly, but it might not have been. I don't know for sure. But obviously, if it was Nick Boza, I totally agree with that. Nick Boza had an incredible year, and he has one more game tomorrow night, and that leads us right into it. Let's talk about this game, guys. So, first of all, both teams, what the, the, the years that they've had have been incredible. Mahomes, not quite as good as last year, but still really solid. Defense really inconsistent. The Niners came out of nowhere and are absolutely, absolutely insane this year. I, I don't know. I really, I really like what I've seen from both teams. So therefore, I really, ha I have been back and forth. You know, guys, ever since I, ever since the Niners beat the Packers and the Chiefs beat the Titans, I have been back and forth for two weeks straight about who I think is going to win. Some days I've been going with Kansas City, and other days I've been going with San Francisco. And here's the thing. If you look at what you need more, what side of the ball you need more to win ball games, a lot of people will disagree. Some people will say, oh, well, defense defend, uh, prevents teams from scoring points. Defense is more important than other people say offense because that gives you points, so then you have breathing room, breathing room on defense. So, obviously, the offense goes to Kansas City, by far. Their offense is better. But the defense is not even debatable. The Niners' defense is ten times better than the Chiefs' defense. But, then you go to... So, okay, so, so far, it's one to nothing San Francisco, because they have the better defense. But then you go to quarterbacks. And if, I, if it comes down to which QB is going to come out on top and which QB is going to lead their team down the field in like the final minute or two and give their team the Super Bowl victory, I will take Mahomes over Garoppolo 10 times out of 10. Now, so, so it's 1-1 one one now because they clearly have the QB advantage. If we go to the rushing attack, 
I mean, that's not the best argument you can make because the Chiefs don't run the ball that much. They have a really solid running back, uh, Damian Williams, but he's also more of a receiving back as well, so they don't run the ball very much. Obviously, the Niners' rushing attack is absolutely, absolutely incredible. I think it's second in the league behind Baltimore. Their rushing attack is incredible. Raheem Mostert is really, really good behind a good offensive line. Really good. And you add George Kittle and Kyle Hughes check to the mix, that duo is absolutely absolutely insane. So, will the Niners be able to rush it really well? Yes. Will they be able to rush it as well as they did against Green Bay? I don't know. I mean, that was like the highest of the highs for the Niners. I mean, Raheem Mostert went off. Like, four touchdowns, 200 plus yards. It was crazy. And... What they need to do is just run pitches. It worked against Green Bay. It has to work against against Kansas City because the only decent player on the on the Chiefs outside edge is Frank Clark. And uh, yes, don't get me wrong, Chris Jones is really good, but he's more of a defensive line, like a big defensive tackle. So he's not like on the edge, he's making plays. He's going from the middle. So Chris Jones. That's why I don't think they should run it up the middle. Run it to the outside. Frank Clark is good, but he's not too good. If you pull George Kittle and Kyle Hughes and Kyle Hughes have them pull, it will be a big gain almost every time. Run the ball. If I'm Kyle Shanahan, I'm not trusting Garoppolo to throw the ball, even though Kansas City's defense is not very good. I am. I'm not trust. I'm not trusting Garoppolo. I'm going to the ground. Chiefs. See, this is the one worry about the Niners' defense. Because the Chiefs have the best wide receiving core in the game. No doubt, I'm not changing my mind. You could argue that it's the Texans, but no. I say Kansas City has the best wide receiving core in the National Football League. Tyreek Hill, McCole Harmon, Demarcus Robinson, Sammy Watkins, who's actually been a sleeper this year. He's been pretty good. So, that that's really good. And, of course, they'll put Richard Sh- Richard Sherman on Tyreek Hill, but he's only one piece to the puzzle. How are they going to stop McCole Hardman, who has been absolutely ridiculous? And I forget who won Rookie of the Year, but regardless, McCole, McCole Hardman is really, really good. I don't know if it was Josh, was it Josh Jacobs? I, I don't know. I think it was... Offense was Kyler Murray, defense was Nick Bose, I believe. I don't know who the all all time rookie of the year was, but anyways, back to the game. Um, what, the Niners' key to winning this game, but on defense, on offense, it's established the running game. For on uh, defense for the Niners, they need to just get all of the pressure on Mahomes, force him. Although Mahomes is probably the Best quarterback in the league, and obviously the best quarterback at throwing on the run. His throw on the run is absolutely incredible. I I still think you got to pressure Mahomes. If you give him time, he's going to piece him up. Doesn't matter how good the defense is, his receivers are really good, he's got an incredible arm, he will piece you up. They have to get pressure on Mahomes. And Nick Bowes is really good. But I think that the Chiefs, Andy Reid's a hell of a coach. What they'll do is they'll shadow him. They'll, they'll like triple team Nick Boza. So who else on that front? D Ford, I think. They have to get pressure if they want a shot at this. And I think that's going to be inconsistent. I think sometimes Mahomes will have time and he'll st- and I'll deliver. And I think other times they'll get pressure. I think Mahomes will get, will be sacked a couple times. But anyways, um... Again, guys, I have been back and forth on this. I really have. And if you guys are wondering what team I'm cheering for, I guess I feel somewhere in the middle. Because you guys know I absolutely hate the Patriots. And if we flash back to several years ago, you know, uh, Brady really wanted to trade Garoppolo. Belichick didn't want to. They had a whole blow up. And Garoppolo eventually left, joined the Niners, and this year, even though he's really overrated and he hasn't done much, even if his team wins the Super Bowl and he's playing in the game, if the Niners win, that's such a big in-your-face to Brady, to Brady, and also, just the Patriots in general, and also the Niners... Total sleeper team coming into the year. They weren't supposed to be that good. They were supposed to be a seven and nine, eight and eight team, 
I believe, or something like that. They weren't supposed to be very good. They were absolutely ridiculous. So, on that end, I kind of want the Niners to win. But on the other side... I kind of want the Chiefs because Patrick Mahomes, although I don't really like him, I think he's pretty obnoxious. He's really talented, and he got robbed of the Super Bowl last year. If he did not have the worst defense in the league, they would have won that game. Their defense is, is slightly better this year, but last year it could not have been worse. And if he had the defense this year that he has last year, even if even though the Chiefs' defense this year is not very good, if he had that defense last year against New England, they would have won. Mahomes got totally robbed, and he was the reason why the Chiefs stayed in the game. It was Mahomes keeping them in the game. And Andy, Andy, on the other side, Andy Reid. He is such a great coach, such a great guy, too. He gets way too much hate. He's a really good coach. He has been robbed so many times of Super Bowls. He finally made it. So I, on that side, I kind of want Kansas City to win. Because, you know, it's their time, it's their shot, they need to go out and get it. So I really feel in the mail. So I've decided I'm just gonna be I'll be happy for either team that wins. I'll be happy for what I'll be happy for whatever team wins. Whoever wins, great for them. Whoever loses, that sucks for them. But my final pick, guys, again, I could not decide. I kept on second guessing myself, but I'm going to officially conclude that the 49ers are Super Bowl champions. I forget the number. What is it? Super Bowl 54, 50, 55, something like that. I think it's... Uh, I'm trying to remember. I would think... I think it's 54, but I don't know for sure. Um, but It could be 55. But regardless, guys, the Niners pull off the win 27 Two twenty four. I'm not gonna say overtime. I'm gonna say it stays in re regulation. But Niners win twenty seven twenty four. That as for how the game goes, I think that the Niners the Niners will get off to a red hot. Sorry, it'll be like fourteen nothing. Mostert will pop off to start the game. Kiddo will get a touchdown reception. Garoppolo will be clicking. They'll be going all the way down. Mahomes will get off to a very rough start. I think that he's going to get blitzed a lot. He's going to psych himself out, try to make this crazy throw on the run plays, and he's going to screw up a couple times. I think that it's going to be all San Francisco in the first half. And I think they're going to dominate the first three quarters of the game, relatively speaking. I think the Niners are going to have like a 20-17, uh, 20-point lead going into the fourth quarter. But then Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs are going to have a great, are going to try to pull off a crazy comeback to win the game. And I think that it's going to be really close, but I think the Chiefs are going to get a couple touchdowns, and then they're going to have to go on a game-winning drive to win it, and I think that they are going to fall just short, and they're going to fall to the Niners, and they're going to become, and they're going to be unable to pull off the incredible comeback, but it's going to be very close, and I think they will have some sort of a comeback, but I don't think it's going to be enough, and therefore I officially conclude that the Niners are the Super Bowl champions this year, 27-24, to and to be honest, guys, if we go back to who I'm rooting for, I'm not rooting for any team, really, you know who I'm rooting for? I'm rooting for a Super Bowl not as boring as last year. Last year, I've been alive, what, 13 years or something like that? It is. It was the worst Super Bowl of my whole life, I'd say. The one argument people, people would have was 2015 when the Panthers played the Broncos. But I disagree with that because although that game was reasonably boring... It was a huge game for Peyton Manning. His last game in the NFL got a Super Bowl win. So it was kind of a big win for Peyton Manning, even though the game was pretty boring itself because the Panthers were terrible. Uh, and they got smoked by the um, Broncos. And even though it was 24-10, it was only a 14-point game, the Broncos totally dominated the game. And I think that's going to be a similar setup for the, for, for the first three quarters, but Mahomes is such a fighter, and I really think he's going to try and come back. But he's going to fall just short, as I said. So a 27-24, 49ers victory. I definitely don't think it'll be as boring as last year. No doubt about it. So, I'm going to go, stick with that, guys. Let me know in the comments if they're on. I'm having some comment glitches, as you would expect. But if the comments are actually working, not sure if they are. Let me know in the comments who you guys think is going to pull it off. And if you guys want me to debate with you, I will. But I'm sticking with my pick. And, of course, I actually, for Super Bowls, uh, guys, regardless of who's in it, I do halftime highlights as well. Like I did last year with the Patriots-Rams, I will be doing halftime highlights 
and a recap after the end of the game. So, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Congratulations to the Chiefs and the Niners for making it this far. And we will see who wins it out. But I will see you guys tomorrow for my follow-up video. And good luck to both teams. And can't wait for the Super Bowl.